this has certainly been an unprecedented time for everyone, um, including many of our businesses in Bennett. Now, many businesses have been able to stay open because they are considered to be uh, um, providing essential services, but that doesn't mean businesses haven't struggled, and they certainly have. We've kept in touch with them. Um, we've been able to offer some programs for those that um, were uh, requested assistance. We have a program called Bennett Stronger Together. Um, it's funded by money from the CARES Act, so working with both Arapahoe County and Adams County. The Town Board of Trustees was able to establish this program, and that program to date has helped some businesses close the gap between um, uh, you know, where they need to be relative to making payroll, uh, paying rent, uh, we even used the Bennett Stronger Together program to help High Plains Diner, for example. When restaurants were first able to open, um, there were restrictions put on place in, in, in place in terms of how many people you could have inside the restaurant. So um, High Plains Diner um, um, made an application through the Bennett Stronger Together program to spend money on expanding their outdoor uh, eating area, which is a great benefit for for that restaurant. New construction in Bennett continues, both at the small scale and the large scale. Um, at the smaller scale, Living Springs a Veterinary Clinic is under a major expansion project, um, adding uh, new uh, kennels and boarding facilities. Uh, they took advantage of our benefits of Bennett program, which is our Bob program, and received a grant uh, to help in, in uh, their construction project. That project should be open later this summer, 2020. Well, in terms of new development, it's kind of hard to miss the new IREA building that's going up on the east side of Highway 79 across from the Bennett Marketplace. That's the Intermountain Rural Electric Association's major regional facility that's under construction. They hope to be um, in that building later this year or in early 2021. Just west of the IREA building is another construction project. Comfort Inn is under construction. Um, it's probably the only uh, hotel in Colorado that is under construction today. The lodging industry has been hit very hard and we're fortunate that um, the developer of that project has been able to sustain and that, that uh, building should be open uh, sometime in uh, 2021. Our residential community is growing as well. We have uh, several home builders that um, are under construction today, uh, Ash Street Townhomes, LGI in Bennett Crossing, and now DR Horton in a project called um, Skyview, um, kind of the northwest corner of the community. In addition to that, Oakwood Homes, um, they had plans approved for a new 366 unit uh, community just south and a little bit west of Town Hall. Um, so we have the opportunity to um, welcome new neighbors into Bennett and with more rooftops, we hope we'll have even more uh, commercial development and be able to offer um, more opportunities, whether it's shopping or dining to our existing residents and to our new residents as well. You know, so again, like I said earlier, these times are unprecedented and I don't think there are too many communities that have been able to weather the storm the way uh, the town of Bennett has. Again, because some of our, most of our businesses have been able to, to stay open, but also because of the foresight of the town board of trustees and some of the programs that I talked about earlier, um, and they use that money that they received um, through the CARES Act and other sort of sources wisely um, to support our uh, local businesses. Our local businesses are our foundation and we know that and that's very important to us.